Now, it's pretty clear uh, from past reporting that we've done that Donald Trump despises the White House press corps. Now, they hate answering questions from the press. So, you know, any chance that they could do to call on people from maybe like Fox News and not call on people from CNN, you remember Jim Acosta, right? Well, Jim Acosta said, hey, I've got a question for you. Can I ask a question? No, no, no. You're fake news. You're fake news. I'm not going to answer any questions from you. We're going to go to the guy from Fox News. Well, that, of course, a little bit of a PR disaster. So the White House came up with a new way to bypass anybody from touch, uh, from asking tough questions. Now, they did so uh, by essentially setting up something called Skype scenes. Now, what is Skype scenes? Now, it's basically a way for the administration to set up conservative hosts to call in and ask a question through Skype so they don't actually have to piss, uh, pick people from the press corps. So, of course, picking people, hand-picking sources to ask questions, well, there's nothing shady about that, right? Now, just to show you the caliber of questions uh, that are being asked, uh, I'm going to play you a video of Sean Spicer uh, being asked a question by a conservative host named Lars Larson. Now, let's take a look at this video. I want to go to my third Skype seat, Lars Larson of the Lars Larson Show. Commander Spicer, it's a pleasure. Thanks for your service to America and thanks for the opportunity. I've got a broad question. The federal government is the biggest landlord in America. It owns two thirds of a billion acres of America. I don't think the founders ever envisioned it that way. Does President Trump want to start returning the people's land to the people? And in the meantime, for a second question, since that's in fashion these days, can he tell the Forest Service to start logging our forests aggressively again to provide jobs for Americans, wealth for the Treasury, and not spend three and a half billion dollars a year fighting forest fires? Wow. No, man, that's not propaganda at all. That is a completely 100% fair and balanced question. I mean, I don't see the problem with that. You know, Lars Larson was surely uh, bringing the heat, man. He was really holding the administration to account with that question of when are you going to return the land, the Americans' uh, land to their people? And by people, he means wealthy logging corporations because apparently Lars Larson is an enormous shell for logging for the logging industry. Hmm. It, this is amazing. I, again, this is an example of the White House press corps. Uh, what's replacing the White House press corps? Jesus Christ. Look, you think they're going to bring somebody from MSNBC on to fill the Skype seats? Ha! You think they're going to bring on anybody from, for example, TYT? You're going to bring on Kyle Kalinske? They're going to bring on... Uh, they're certainly not going to bring on me, but you think they're going to bring on Jank Uger? No, you're mental if you think they're not going to just go to a very small, select, hand-picked source. Uh, you know, Lars Larson. What's next? Like Rush Limbaugh? Come on, man. Sean Hannity? Is that who they're going to pick next? This is amazing, man. And look, this is a way for the Trump administration essentially to sit there and put out propaganda instead of, I don't know, actually answering tough questions. This is their way of freezing out the press corps because they hate it when people actually ask tough questions to try to hold them accountable. And so as a result of this, there's no access. I mean, there's no chance to ask real questions. I mean, look, you just have Lars Larson uh, saying, when are we gonna, when are we gonna cut down more trees so we can avoid forest fires? I mean, my God, man. Only you can prevent forest fires by chopping down all the trees. Yeah. Okay. This is mental. <laughs> this is madness. I never thought I would see our country actually devolve into this. I, I, I've, we've been close. But holy crap. Just the past week and a half. You've got to be kidding me. If anything, this should serve as a real wake-up call to the press. Get in gear, do your job, and actually start to do some real journalism, okay? Look, if Trump's sister wants to do propaganda with Sean Spicer, okay, let him. Don't cover it. Get out there, get stories, get information, and hold this administration's feet to the fire. Okay? And look, if you had been doing that before, and I have to note this, on the real issues, talking about real stuff, real issues facing the American people, and not bullshit, and not... 
uh, horse race crap, well, then maybe we could have actually avoided Donald Trump. But right now, and I hate to go and relitigate that, so I'm not going to do that. But we are way, way past that entire thing, and we are still heading into even more dangerous territory. Journalists, all hands on deck, man. We've got to fight this, and we've got to fight this hard. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.